so here we go my first gameplay of NBA 2k15 I hopped right into my first my team match and he has that pre-order Kevin Durant and why in the world are we leaving that man wide open I'm not really gonna talk about the gameplay too much in this video gonna go over a few things gonna go over my thoughts early on with 2k15 and apparently already there's a glitch going on. I want to open up some packs for you guys. That's how I want to do my episodes from now on. I want to do a gameplay, and then in the middle of the gameplay, or after the first gameplay, I should say, I'm going to open some packs. Maybe we'll go out and purchase a big-name player, and then I'll do a gameplay after that, kind of like I do in my Madden videos. But for some reason, it's not letting you buy packs today, and there's not one player in the auction house. And apparently, that's because there was an MT glitch going around where people were able to sell their players and then keep repeatedly getting the coins. I'm not sure how to do it. I don't care how to do it. So if you guys came on this video trying to figure out, sorry, I, I just don't want anything to do with it. It ruins the game experience. You're going to have people with stacked teams. This happened at the beginning of 2K14 where you would get those people that would just pause the game, let the timer run out, and they would get MT coins. So apparently something like that is going on again. People are repeatedly selling players, or not repeatedly selling players, but repeatedly getting coins for a player they've sold. And I've seen pictures of people with 12 million MT, 5 million MT, 14 million MT, and they have a full gold roster already. So I have a feeling that's why the auction house is down. That's why you can't buy packs right now, because they are trying to patch this glitch. Now, also, when I jumped into my team, there was a lot of gameplay additions they made this year. Some things are smoother, but some things still haven't been fixed. I know in the summer they talked a lot about on-ball defense was addressed. It still really isn't much better. It's You guys will figure it out for yourself if you do play. You can comment down below. Tell me if you think it's any better, but it feels the same to me before. The zigzag dribbling isn't as bad, but it's definitely still there. And also in this year's game, they said that you could play like the San Antonio Spurs. That's a huge thing they were adding on. I just don't see it. I tried moving the ball around, tried dribbling around, making the extra pass, and it's the same as 2K14. Extra passes usually turn into turnovers. Defensive players close out so fast that there's really no point. You're better off just either going to the hoop or trying to get an open shot. And speaking of shots, in this year's game, they said a huge factor is if you can master your player shot. You guys can see with Patty Mills, I'm hitting a bunch of three-pointers with them. And in this year's game, if you do perfect your player shot, you are going to hit more than you definitely miss. And you can see in this gameplay right here, we're already in the fourth quarter. I guess we'll start to talk about it a little bit. I'm down by six at this point. He's bringing a double team with Kevin Durant. So we are going to drive in and end up getting the and one. That's going to make it a four-point game, but we definitely need a few more of those. So here we are in the fast break. We're going to find Corey Joseph, who's going to find Sergey Karasev once again for yet another and one so things are starting to look up we're starting to make a comeback but here we miss a wide open three-pointer and here comes my opponent the other way on the fast break Wayne Ellington is going to find a wide open Will Bynum and he is going to make that three-pointer so we're down five here he shoots a fadeaway three that one goes out so here we are looking to push the ball I see my man up ahead we are gonna go all the way in but what the heck was that layup attempt we end up missing it and look who's wide open Kevin Durant you guys can probably hear my opponent in the background is getting hyped he's starting to yell we're down seven with a minute and a half but instead of panicking like a lot of people would in this situation I'm gonna slow it down run some plays and get the best quality shots I could possibly get here Brandon rush he had zero points coming in the fourth quarter gets a nice dunk to go there so now we're down five we find Brandon rush again he gets Kevin Durant in the air and hits the fadeaway jumper and now all of a sudden things are looking interesting it's a three-point game we get the ball and here comes Patty Mills I don't know what my opponent was doing he must have fell asleep on the on the controller and we make it a one-point game. All we need is a stop. I'm trying to bring the press. I accidentally hit half-court trap. So Will Bynum ends up getting in the open court. But look at that hustle by Patty Mills. Gets back on defense. And we get the stop we need it. So instead of going and attacking like I normally would, I'm going to go ahead hold for one shot. You guys already know I'm going to shoot this with Patrick Mills. So why not run a play for him? We're going to give it to Karasev. And you're going to run Patty Mills off a double team. Here he comes. He's going to pump fake. Make a spin move. Patrick Mills. And gets the game winner to fall. Nothing but zeros on the clock as he drains the winner. What a finish. And he never had a doubt. He was celebrating the moment it left his hand.
And so it's Boston screaming by with the win. You can see my opponent is definitely disappointed. He lost. Definitely a good game, though. Shout out to my opponent, Patrick Mills. Hits the buzzer beater. My first experience in my team. Definitely more good than bad. There was a few things I was disappointed with, but there was also a few things that I did like. So 2K15, I'm having a lot of fun right now. Unfortunately, like I said, I couldn't open packs like I wanted to, and I couldn't bring you guys another gameplay because the servers have been so on and off. But if you guys want to see more of my team, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. I probably should have another video out today, so stay tuned for that. But that's all I got for this one, guys. I'm TD Presents, and I'm signing out.